up people uh, another Marvel Legends for you um, this is the Dark Wolverine which is uh, actually Wolverine's son I uh, just picked him up gonna open him up and uh, let you guys see comes with the uh, Build-A-Figure the Arnim Zola left arm I'm gonna get all these guys so check out the back that's all the line right there it creates this guy right here so I'll check it out pretty cool art on the back so let's open it up and see what we got pretty badass taking him out of the package he has tons and tons and tons of articulation um, comes with this arm right here to the Arnim Zola and then you've got a this right here like that right there. This crunch, is what they call it. The only thing I don't like taking it out of the package is this frilly little belt here. Looks like something a woman would wear. But anyways, um, I do like the fact that he is very flexible. I mean, you can pretty much do anything to this guy. It's pretty crazy. Um, his tattoo it's alright I mean whatever um, paint job paints pretty cool I would like the little shinier they do this off color although there's a lot of shades in there and it also bleeds onto his mask right there so don't really like that too much all in all it's a pretty solid figure though this is the uh, variant. Um, the other figure has his his mask off and it's pulled down to back here. And he's got like a mohawk looking haircut. But um, as far as the articulation goes, his head moves. It's on a ball joint. Plus it's got this little edge right here. It goes all the way down. And you can, I mean, you can. You can see it goes up pretty good ways and get in some cool poses. Um, it's got a, a shoulder in and out, front and back, and then it's got this little joint right here. I don't know if you can see it or not. It's right here. It's not connected, but it goes in and out, and it's pretty neat. And it's painted as well with the same paint they used on the body. Um, like there again, the tattoo. Then this, you got a little swivel here, and then on both sides, you've got the uh, double jointed elbows right there. You've got a turn right above the wrist and right below the wrist as well. Um, also, his hand goes back and forth as well. You can see that there. Um, Claws, also another downfall. Um, I guess you can spread them out because it's kind of like this flexible plastic stuff here. They won't stay like that for some reason, so I'm going to have to figure out a way to make them stay. Um, yeah, you can get this guy some pretty cool poses. Um, go back to the, the uh, his crunch here. He goes back pretty far, and then he goes forward pretty good ways so then again you can get us some pretty cool poses um, it's got a swivel left right his legs right here on a ball joint goes up out in forward backward um, also double jointed knees he's got no articulation here in his booth though. Um, right here he's got a little pivot on his ankle also his toes go up and down and then right there at the ankle it's got a little pivot. Um, so yeah all in all I'd, I'd say this is a pretty solid figure other than the negatives that I had about him. Um, you can uh, do some pretty neat stuff with this guy. I'm excited about getting the rest of the guys in this line actually um, 
also the uh, Terex line as well. Um, good muscle definition here. Right there. Back, really cool muscle definition there. Really neat though. They did a really good sculpt on this guy. Good paint detail. His legs. No real shiny paint though. I mean, other than a little bit on his head. And there's not much, much to it though. Um, no accessories come with this guy. So, um, but yeah, that's that's about it. Um, if you like my reviews, uh, comment, subscribe, tell your friends, tell your neighbors, whatever. Um, this has been Brandon Lee with uh, Toys Are Again. Um, see you next time.